All right, so welcome back to the channel. And today I want to show you this amazing creative effect called the 3D letter effect, where it basically looks like anything, in this case a giraffe, is popping out of a 3D letter. Now, let's first start by creating a new document, which I've already done. And the document dimensions are 2,500 pixels times 2,500 pixels, as you can see right over here. Now, let's first create some nice background. So I'm going to go to my layer um, in the menu bar, click on uh, create fill layer. And let's create some nice, let's say a little bit grayish layer. Something like this looks cool to me. All right, now let's press T on the keyboard to select the text tool. And you want to make sure um, as a font you got Arial Black because Arial Black is a nice bold font. So we have lots of room to, let's say, pop uh, an object or a giraffe in this case out of the letter. So I'm gonna click and hold Shift and drag um, along my screen. And I'm gonna press G because I want to, um, yeah, make the giraffe pop out of the letter G in this case. So let's center it for now with these um, uh, alignment uh, buttons. And now I want to um, create a duplicate of my G. So I'm gonna press Command G. And this I want to have as base color. So the base color is a little bit, let's say, orangey gray. Um, but I want to create some shadow as well. So the top G, I want to give a little darker color actually. So I'm gonna just make it a little darker and maybe keep it a little brownish as well, just for, yeah, because it looks nice. And what I want to do now is clip my bottom G. So let's call this one dark G and this one light G. I want to clip the light G to the dark G. So let's click and drag this one onto um, the dark G. And what I want to do now is move the light G to the bottom right. Because it's clipped right now, you can see that we get this nice 3D effect. So grab your move tool by pressing V. Click and hold shift because if you hold shift, you can um, uh, drag it diagonally, let's say. So let's drag it something like this. And now I want to um, add a Gaussian blur to give this nice uh, shadowy effect. So let's go to the layer effects panel. Let's click on Gaussian blur and let's increase the, um, the radius to, let's say, about 26 pixels. By the way, this video was brought to you by the Ultimate Brush Bundle. 100 plus realistic brushes that make photo manipulation fun for everyone. Add northern lights, clouds, stars, fireworks, smokes, lightning and so much more to your photos in just a click. Now 66% off. Link in the description. Now, in our example, we actually have this nice outline. So I want to create this as well. Um, we're going to disable it later on again, but I'll show you why. So let's first create it. So let's go click on Dark G. And we're going to go to the layer effects panel, click on outline. And we want to have uh, the fill style, yeah, whatever we like. But I like it to have it great as gradient. I want to have it as a, a, a radial gradient, let's say. And I'm going to pick two colors. Let's actually first increase the radius so we can see what we're doing. Um, in the center, I want to have some brighter yellowish color, let's say, or orangey color. something like this and on the outside I want it to be a little darker more brownish color something like this looks fine to me all right um, I told you we're gonna disable it for now because um, yeah actually I will leave it for now and then I will show you why we're gonna disable it so we want to go to our giraffe which I opened um, here already and I picked this image because the giraffe is very easy to um, subtract or extract from the background which I've already done um, I just use some simple selection tool like the quick selection brush or the selection brush tool made a selection and then refined my selection all right let's copy the giraffe and let's go to our document and then press command V to paste it let's um, yeah of course we want to reduce the size because it's too big and I want to flip it horizontally so I'm gonna right click and then press flip horizontally and now I just want to position it somewhere where I think is nice so maybe maybe right around here let's make it a little different than our example image now I want to make it look like the giraffe is inside of the G 
So I want to, let's say, erase all of this bottom part. But if I hold command and click on my dark G right now, you can see that the uh, selection is outside of my outline which basically means that if i would mask out the bottom part you could still see that it actually overlaps the uh, outline let's say which is something that i don't want so i'm going to press command d i'm going to go into my dark g uh, layer effects i'm going to disable the outline and now once i um, press command d uh, command click to um, select the G, you can see that we can have this nice selection inside of the G, let's say. First, before we do that, I want to create a layer mask. So I'm going to select my giraffe layer and create a layer mask. Then I'm going to uh, command click on the thumbnail of my dark G and I'm going to select the, the layer mask of the giraffe. I'm going to press B on the keyboard. And now you can see that we have selected the inside of the G. So I want to select the outside. So I'm going to press Command Shift I to invert my uh, layer, my, uh, my selection. And now I can brush over the giraffe with black. And you can see that we brush out um, the bottom part of the giraffe. So let's press Command D. And now we can actually activate our um, outline again so let's select the dark g let's go to the layer effects panel and let's select the outline and now you can see that we've got this nice um, yeah mask of the giraffe let's say now let's create a little shadow on the giraffe so it actually makes it look like it's coming out of the g so what we're going to do is select the giraffe layer we're going to go into the uh, adjustment layers and create an exposure adjustment layer we're going to darken it a little bit and now you can see that my whole screen is darkening uh, is darkened um, this i don't want i want to clip it to the giraffe so i'm gonna click and hold and clip it to my giraffe layer of course i want to invert the effect because i want to paint in the shadows so i'm gonna press command i and with my brush tool selected um, i'm gonna press x because i want to make sure that my foreground color is set to white and now i'm just gonna brush in some very subtle shadow on the giraffe and yeah there we go that is how to create the 3d letter effect